Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Marcy Vesaker, an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. Thank you for joining me today. Um, it is Sunday and it is a week before Christmas. I can't believe Christmas is just around the corner. It just flies, doesn't it? Uh, speaking of flying, interesting fact is I decided I should look up my passport because as you know, um, our, the trip achievers are getting their information and we're getting ready to um, get ready for our trip and you know sign up and figure out all that stuff and our flights and everything and I thought for sure my passport was still good so I was like you know what I'm good I've got my passport everything's good I decided to pull it out and take a look at it it expires in January <laughs> So that's not going to do me any good for my trip in May. So of course I went online, I filled out the forms really quickly. Um, I was going to go to Costco and take my, um, my passport picture. And then I realized that it is in, they don't do passports anymore. They don't do photos anymore. So I had to call around. So I just walked back in the door from running to go get my passport picture and, um, yeah, so that was a little crazy. So it's being shipped off tomorrow um, um, in a flat rate envelope. And they say only if it's uh, scheduled three weeks out should you have an issue. So fingers crossed, everything's going to go okay. I hope, yes, I hope everybody does have a very Merry Christmas. It's going to be a crazy week. Um, I am hoping to be here Wednesday. But please, um, if I'm not, I probably, I will definitely post it on my Facebook page. But plans are that I'll be here. Um, let's see. Hi, everybody. Hi, Debbie. Good luck to your husband tomorrow. He's in my prayers. You guys both are. Um, so I hope that all works out well. And he has a great, fast recovery. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hi, Crystal, Dawn, Melanie. Hello. Welcome. Hi, Barb. Hi, Tashana, how are you? So, um, yeah, today was kind of a relaxing day. I just um, crafted a little bit. Um, I'm working on a little project. Um, so that I'm doing 3D things. I'm trying to come up with my measurements that I want. Hi, Arlene. And um, so I've been working on that. And other than that, our Christmas is pretty much over. We had um, our our best occur Christmas party this weekend and my um, our youngest wasn't able to make it as you know from Montana it's stormy raining uh, uh, snowing and um, they also are under the weather so they decided to postpone their trip until January which they have to come for anyway so um, that kind of all works out but we did have a really good time and um, then my son my daughter-in-law and grandson are under the weather, but they're feeling better now. But um, they decided on Saturday to also stay home. Um, but they're feeling much better, and they're going to be going to see my daughter-in-law's family on Monday. So, hi, Nancy Lee. How are you? Hi, Sherry. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hi, Mary. Hi, Trina. So, gosh, I hope everybody's ready for um, Christmas this week. I am actually going to be working on um, my paper share, all my envelopes and my labels and everything for all that. We've got quite a few people for paper share. So if you are interested, you're going to get a little bit of everything in the catalog. It's $65. You'll get 154 sheets of paper. That includes your shipping, okay? It will also include your host set. So um, I hope you guys will take advantage and participate in the paper share. It is a lot of fun and it also gives you a really great idea of what papers you would like because trust me once you see them in person they look way better than the catalog. There was a few I was thinking of passing on and I thought well I could always use them for something and I ended up I'm really glad I got them because they're very very pretty. So um, that will help with that. So I'm going to be working on that a little bit. I'm going to work on my 3D product project and hope to take that with us. We are going on a trip this week. And that's why I'm not so sure about Wednesday. Um, because the um, we're going to be traveling. And I want to take a project with me. But not 
um, I want to take a project that I'm I have planned so I have a couple uh, I have my class all done for January um, my class is going to be the country floral lane which is going to be a lot of fun and here are the sneak peeks um, give you a little bit of idea about it and then right here it is you can purchase it if you purchase the suite from me um, then you can get this class for free but you need to register also if you already have a demonstrator or you are a demonstrator and you have the suite already you can still purchase the class for $35 we are going to be doing six projects I've already done them I would love to show them to you they're so cute but there's a sneak peek of them for you and um, then if you're on my team of course you need to register um, so that I can send you your your kit if you do not want the kit you can create your own kits but you'd love to have the PDF and the video link then you can also uh, register for $20 there's a separate registration on my blog for $20 so they are listed below um, the reg regular registration and of course if you need the $20 one just back up one and go go in there and you can get the other um, so I would love to have you guys join that because it's going to be a lot of fun there's six projects um, and one is a 3d and I think if I remember right there's two fancy folds but one there might be one because I did the other one in bingo but I can't remember oh you are so welcome Terry yeah the floral suite Melanie is so pretty so um, I, it's great so don't forget if you are on my team and I of course I'd love to have anybody that is willing um, that is thinking about joining and uh, you're not sure um, I can help answer any questions remember it's not as stressful as it may seem um, a lot of people are like oh I don't know if I can do it all you're doing is shopping with a discount you don't have to do videos and all that kind of stuff teach classes you could just use your discount share it with your friends if you want um, that's it so it's a lot of fun I'd love to have you guys um, let's see what else so that's bingo January um, bingo is what I missed here I said the class four projects um, you get four bingo games also and there are four $100 prizes we have so much fun it's January the 18th at five o'clock uh, basically you join here we we play bingo we have a lot of fun I'll create four projects and then you will receive the kits for all those projects um, I have already listed what's going to be used in that set so make sure you uh, take a look at that because those are going to be super helpful for you um, for the video um, obviously there's a few of them that if you don't have them you could always use something else you have with it um, there are going to be some items of course you're going to need to stamp and die cut because um, I'm going to use the citrus set for example and that is the hybrid where you get the embossing folder the dies and then the stamps and you're going to need that set to create one of them but you could definitely not use that and use something you do have but I'll send you all the other paper and cardstock and embellishments that you need so um, those are the kinds of things I can't die cut out for you because you, you know you need to to stamp them and emboss them it's going to help you that way anyway let's get busy I think that's the only announcements I had I'm thinking thinking I felt like should I run and go get that picture because I'm going to come back and have to jump on the video but I think we're good I think that is about it for my um, information um, don't forget actually scan uh, stamp and storage has their special 12 days of Christmas I think they're on six or seven now I'm losing track but um, it is on my Facebook page Marcy Bessaker uh, designs and there's a link there that will take you in if you go straight to the stamp and storage website it is not there so make sure you go to Marcy Bessaker designs and look for that stamp and storage there's a link you can click there it'll take you in and you click a button every day and it tells you what their special is and I think today is ink holders and I think it's 20% off so um, you know you have to go back every day and check and see how hi Jeannie how are you all right so let's get busy with our project 
so today um, I'm going to be using this Beautifully Happy. And this is a, a stamp set that you can get for free from Celebration. And you know what? I forgot. I think it's $100. And now that I'm thinking about it, I better double check. Double, double check. Let me see. It is $100. The reason I didn't know is because when we went to on stage, this was a gift that they gave us. So um, it is $100, but it's, I was kind of thinking, oh man, I'm going to have to ink up the colors and use the Stamparatus. And I'm going to show you how I did it without the Stamparatus. It is actually very easy and very quick. And of course, you know, I have dragonflies in my um my team is the stamping dragonflies and i just love the dra dragonfly trinkets dragonfly not the dragonfly the dragonfly so let's get busy i'm going to show you a couple things i did and a couple things i don't think is that important that i did that you really can't tell um so and i would actually not do it next time but i already kind of prepped so i'll show you what what the deal is here so what I did is I have I did do a little bit of stuff ahead of time of course I have our card base which is thick basic white our and our colors are granny apple green so this is four and then a four by five and a quarter and then our um, this one is three and three quarters by five now on my inside panels and most of my panels, if you see a little bit of an edge like this, then this piece right here in the background is going to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Okay. If it looks like this and you've got more white around it, then this is going to be four by five and a quarter. Okay. But when it looks so close to the edge and there's two colors like that, it is going to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths and then four by five and a quarter. But on the inside, when you put your granny apple green and you still see quite a bit of white and it's a little bit less um, than, I mean, a, a little more room than the four and an eighth. This is four and five quarter, five, four by five and a quarter. And then this is three and three quarters by five. So always kind of look at the edge. And that kind of gives you an idea, the difference. And I know this is on white, so it's hard to see. Let me slide this under here for you. So see the difference, how much white you can see as opposed to this one. See how little there is. So that's kind of how you can tell from my cards most of the time. Those are the size differences. So when you see that, and you're like, oh, I wonder what size she used then that's it. Kind of the way I decide on that is what am I putting in the middle? How much room do I need? And um, this one I knew I was popping this flower up. So it really didn't matter except I wanted a lot of white in the background to make this kind of pop and you can see it better than just laying it on top of the, the striped paper. And I'll tell you where I got that in just a minute. And then I decided to emboss it too. And I embossed it with, I know I just had it here, right here, the new Cane Weave Embossing Folder. So this is the new Cane Weave Embossing Folder. Let's see. There we go. So let's see if I put it on the inside. I think you can see it a little bit better. So it is really a nice folder. So here is what it looks like up close. Isn't that pretty? It just gives a really nice texture. So I just really, really like it. Okay, so let's get busy and I'll show you what I did. The paper came from, this is a big set, Flowers and More. Now you're gonna get this also in your paper share. So I have, let me put the rest of this back in. So I have this paper here that I cut. And this pack is one of those big 48 packs. So you're going to get a quarter pack of this. So you're going to get a whole six by four or no, six by six paper. 
So see, you've got all of these different designs that you can choose from. They're a little more subtle on one side and a little more bold on the other. Now, if I would have chose a bolder one, I would have definitely made the white piece probably a little bigger, not to have so much, you know, contrast unless it was something a little more subtle. But see on the other side, look at those pretty stripes. There's just all kinds of really pretty paper in here that you could use for many of our sets. But there's just, and I showed this on the opening for our, my unboxing. So um, anyway, a lot of fun. Some of those big stamp sets, those big worded stamp sets, this would be really good because you're just putting a big sentiment on it. You want something to kind of fill in the background. And so you could add a big white piece of paper and then maybe take, I think this is crushed curry maybe, put a little bit behind your white, you know, and then put your nice big sentiment on it. So anyway, all kinds of really fun paper in here. So this will also be included in the paper share. Okay, so let's start with the inside of our card, which is going to be this. You know, I always like to add my little panel. So just kind of pick and choose what you want. Um, if you wanted, I chose the paper like this because this is how I wanted my stripes to go horizontal on the front. Now, normally on the inside, I would prefer to have the, you know, the inside like this just because it gives up more detail. But because I'm getting my paper like this, four by six, I'm just going to cut this off and add this on the bottom. Oh, you guys, remember the other night when I was telling you that I was dreading doing my wrapping? Oh went in there and I got everything wrapped because I knew our daughter from Montana was coming the next day and the baby and everything and I thought you know I want to have the gifts under the tree and ready to go and then of course they weren't able to come they got sick and so but I was glad I got it done oops did you see that I just took my the tip of my glue right off, which means I need to clean my needle, which I usually just do with alcohol. Because if I don't, it starts sticking to everything. And I'm just gonna add this pink here just to kind of tie in the color a little bit. So I just take a little scrap and add it on here. And I try to make that just a little longer just so I know. I know if it's gonna be a four, it's gonna be plenty because this is always three and three quarters by five or four and a quarter by, or four by five and a quarter. So I always make it at least four and I know I'm good. All right, so there's our piece. Hi, Olivia. Oh, thanks, Katie. I know we always have so much fun with the paper share. And of course, I always put some goodies in there for you. All right, let's move that. Let's glue this on. See what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to be looking for that later, so I'm going to move it out of the way. I did a lot of stuff in bags this year and my husband's like I don't think you should do bags I go why and he's like cuz I think kids want to open gifts and I go they're opening gifts I don't the only reason I don't do bags is if I if they're gonna be here snooping inside the bags like when my kids were younger I definitely didn't do bags because I knew they'd be snooping inside I even wrapped empty boxes because I knew my kids, they were snoopy kids. All right, so there's the inside, all nice and done. You can add a flower like this flower right here is a, a separate flower. You could put that in there if you wanted to. I kind of like how it just kind of hugs the sentiment. So I chose to do that. Now we have our pink and our green. So we can go ahead and let's do that too. We can put that on because we're not tying a bow around. We're just doing a little bow. So let's do that. 
Thank you for those of you subscribing. I really appreciate that. All right, so let's... I don't know why, but this has such a thin line of green on the bottom, and this has a little bit more, and I, I like it at the top. It really doesn't matter. But to me, I'm like, oh, I want a little bit more at the top. So we can add this. The reason I like to do this ahead of time is it reduces all the little pieces all over my desk and I don't lose them. And also on the inside, that white piece, I don't grab it to stamp on. <laughs> I've already cut it down to the size it needs to be. And so I like to make sure that it's not going to become my flower. All right, so we're going to set this aside. And I brought in some white. Let me pull my sleeves up a bit. You wrapped empty boxes. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, really, Kathy? Um, you know what? I, my suggestion, keep it full. If my glue gets down to, you know, even like halfway, I fill it up because, and then I also, let me show you this really quick. I also open this up. Let me see, where did I put my, oh, here it is. Let's just do this real quick. I also put this right here, and then I take my um, pokey tool or what do you, whatever you have that's sharp, and I kind of clean out this top part because, did you see that right there? You get kind of like some clumps in there. Sometimes, let me grab a baby wipe. And so I just kind of just go right around the outside just to get that drier those drier pieces right there and of course I don't have any lint that comes off of my baby wipes because these are Costco so they're really nice but I just try to do that and then when I fill it up I just hold my bottle kind of up a ways and let it drip down but you want to make sure that you have a, a good size hole right there so you can get it in there and then just make sure like right here you don't have any, and I don't, because I just pulled out the centerpiece. But the, the fuller they are, the less you have to squeeze. Um, so, you know, you don't have to be doing this and, you know, getting it to go down. You just barely turn it and squeeze, and it's coming out. So keeping it full is a lot easier than if it were half full or less than that. Um, oh, hold on. My baby wipe holder got stuck. There's a... There's a baby wipe stuck in the little, oh, there we go. See, look, it was stuck. I couldn't get it out. Okay, sorry about that. I had to beat my baby wipe holder. Okay, so anyway, that would be my suggestion. Fill it up so that you don't have to squeeze so much and it'll be a lot easier. Oh. Well, Kathy, I hope that works. That helps me because if I feel like I'm doing squeezing it too much, I'm like, oh, no, I got to I gotta do something about that. Okay, so let's get started. I always like to start with the darker first because then you can see it. Um, if you do the lighter color first, um, obviously you can't really do it in this stamp set because it, it has pieces, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. The first thing I do with a polymer is I... I, first I take a baby wipe and I wipe it all off just because the residue from the creating of the stamp, there, there's always like that new residue-y stuff on it, right? So I clean it off with a baby wipe, I, then I ink it up and then I stamp it off a couple times and then I take a baby wipe again and I wipe it off just to make sure because you, you know, you get that bubbly look and it just doesn't stamp very well. Then I... Get it really inky and stamp it off a couple times and then you're good. You just want to make sure you get that residue off. And then I tend to just kind of hold it down a little bit and look how pretty that is. Okay, and then I always try to just wipe it off right after. All right, so we're going to take this one. You notice I took my ink pad to my... I'm going to move this over here. You I took my ink pad to my stamp because it was a bigger stamp, but this one's much smaller. We're going to put it here and yes we have to fussy cut but don't worry i already fussy cut it um 
but for video purposes so that won't take too long but I want to show you how I colored it and how this works all right so what I did is I have an extra piece of paper over here um, to stamp off on because we're going to do a little bit of stamping off so the first thing we're going to do is pull in I did polished pink just because I love polished pink and lime green together and this is granny apple green all right so and you know what to be honest this could be parakeet I don't think it is parakeet because it's not I think parakeet's a little brighter and um, it will um, sorry somebody just sent a message uh, I will talk about the paper share again at the end and I'll give you more details um, so the I think the parakeet's a little brighter okay so if you did this and you inked up your color and you stamped it it's going to be really dark see how dark that is now i'm not going to stamp off because then it's going to be really light but now i've taken that ink off so now i'm just going to barely ink it i'm not going to push it i'm just going to barely ink it up and now my head's probably going to get in the way but it's really easy to line up you just look at all four flowers and then i just go low 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 and make sure so i look on this edge over here this little flower and the edge up there and I just make sure it's close it does not have to be exact but do you see how it's not this and it's not this because I've stamped it off twice and then just kind of tapped it not like really inked it up so that worked out really well now I'm going to take the little one for over here I'm going to do the same thing a couple taps oops I think I'm going to it's, it is dis, um, distinctive, so don't be thinking, oh, I didn't get that. Now this one, I'm gonna look at the top. Turn it, get it where I want it, and then go down, okay? So, and then there's a little piece that goes down right here, the little funnel of that flower, okay? Oh, Sherry, I didn't know there was a three inch versus a one and a half. I'm guessing this is this is a two inch bottle if I'm just going up to here but that's interesting all right so there's that one all right so we're done with those and now these could be little buds up here but let me explain because I thought oh what is how am I going to do that I'm looking at these and they look like little buds and I thought oh I can make those a different color like a yellow or you know an orange or something but there's leaves all in there and then I'm realizing okay those are the leaves that are coming up over the flower and also the base of the flower this the stem that's on okay you know I think I'm gonna let's see if we can do that that might help so what I decided to do is I don't need any polished pink yet anymore Set that aside. We're going to bring in the green. And so I'm going to stamp this up and I am going to stamp off the light green. And then I'm going to come in here. We're going to look at the flower and look at the bulbs. And like I said, it doesn't have to be exact as long as it's close. Okay. So see how that is. But if you look at what I did over here, I made it look like the green, the leaves are coming up, but you could still see the little um, flowers in there. So we'll get back to that in a minute. But we're going to do this little one down here too. Same thing. I'm going to stamp that one off. Just a quick stamp off. You don't want to take off a whole lot of your ink. And do that right there. Okay. Now we're going to take our leaves and we want those dark okay they're they're older leaves they're ready so again i'm trying not to get my head in the way but i have a feeling i need to with the camera closer maybe it won't be so bad so i'm just going to slightly turn my my leaves to make sure i'm getting them so what i did is um where's my little pokey on the inside of this leaf right here definitely look at that and then just kind of look over here and make sure that you are 
within your leaves. And it, see how distinctive the color is? It's so pretty. I love it. All right, so then we'll set that aside. Now we'll bring in our, I did Daffodil Delight, because I love these three colors together. And you have a tall little, like a gumdrop shape. And that's going to go on this one right here. And then you're going to have this little one. And it's kind of got little squirrelies on the top, which this one has it all the way to the top. And I don't think it really matters how you put it on there. I just do the smoother part on the bottom. And so I just do that and put that on there. Okay, now what I do, so see how simple that was to color that? We're done, well, we're not exactly done with that, but we're gonna bring the polish pink back in. Hi, Mary, it is, I love it. It's way easier than I was thinking. I have to tell you, today it was one of those days that I was like, oh, my holiday parties are over, I'm tired. And I was thinking, I just kind of want to chill. And I have a book I started that I'm all into, but then I haven't read it in like a week. Well, probably more like a month. Okay, so here you're going to kind of pick and choose to color in, and you're going to go right over the green, okay? Take your, um, I love these things, take your blend pen, and you know there's like a liquidy in there already. It's like, just like this cottony stuff here, it's already wet. So I just do it on my ink pad. I mean, you could do it on your lid. You, so you could definitely, you know, pick it up from over here. Same thing. Um, and then just come in and pick and choose. Uh oh, doggy's wondering where dad's at. Pick and choose your little pieces. And I didn't even do all of them. And just kind of fill in a little part like you're seeing that flower kind of starting to bloom. And what this does is it just adds a little more, um, you know, a little more interest to your, instead of just these green pod things sticking up, you're like, what is that? Now it kind of more looks like, oh, it's your flower that's going to bloom. So see, oops, there we go. It just kind of gives you just a little bit more interest. So. Um, this is a great set. I can't wait for you guys to get it from the celebration. It is so fun. And look at all of these sentiments. So you have for a better, for a feeling better kind of day, sending happy thoughts for a very happy birthday. Kindness matters. Thank you. And you're easy to love. And what I like is I love the mixture of the font. So super cool. And then there's little speckles there that you know, I could put behind the dragonfly or something, except um, I embossed that. I could have done that ahead of time, but I didn't. So there's that. Now that's the one side I did the pink. So take your scratch paper now when you're done with your pink and just kind of wipe this off. But see how much is on there? That you could go back through and you could pull in. I don't think I have one stamped, let me see. I don't think I have another one. I was going to say if I had one stamped, but you could just come back in and, and color that. But you could just get rid of all that pink. See how it's kind of going away. And then, and if it's not all the way, I'm okay with that. When I use it next time, I'll wipe it off again and make sure it's all gone. But we're going to flip to the green side now. So I use this for all kinds. What is this level? It's, this is 100, Mary. This one's 100. All right, so now we're going to do the green. So Granny Apple Green, I'm just going to grab it, and I'm going to just kind of come down this little stem here. And I go up, even if it's just a line and it, there's nothing to color inside of, I'm just going to kind of fill in a little bit of the line just to kind of make it look a little more realistic instead of a black stem. So just kind of fill that in and see it looks just a little more realistic now that you, you know, put that green in. And now same thing, I just go get the bulk of the color off. I think I didn't wipe it off after my last use. And I just wipe it. 
and keep wiping it until it's pretty clear and then I'm fine with that. And then I use them again. I just put them in a pile over here and I pull one out and use it. All right, so now what I would do is we need to do our sentiment so we can do it over here. And I'm gonna send this to a friend that um, is going through cancer treatments and um, it's a rough, very rough road. So I am going to send this to her. And so I am going to put this on here. I actually have two friends, so they're each gonna get this card. So, all right, so we're gonna close this up. And then what I did is I went through my new dies. I always look through my new dies to see what I have and what I can use. And this is such a great set that I bought two of them, yay. Uh, something fancy. So you've got all these cute labels. So what I wanted is I wanted to layer it up. And I was hoping that it was gonna fit because it's such a, you know, a bigger piece that I chose these two small ones here. So I'm gonna choose this one for here. And then I'm gonna choose this on a scrap piece of pink paper and I have them here. So I have my sentiment cut out already. But what a great set this is, right? Again, this is the something fancy 160424. It's hard because I can't link stuff, you know, in my video below until I have everything. So um, I just want to make sure I show it to you. So let's go back out so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So there we go. And then I've already, I'll use these and die cut those out later, but I did this right before we went, I ran to go get my picture taken. And where's my small one? Uh-oh. Hello. I have a little one somewhere that looks just like that. That's the one thing about cutting out stuff early. You're like, where did it go though? Well, I will find it. Huh. Oh, here it is. Yay. I knew it was here somewhere. Okay, so then here's where the thing is it's different than I would do. So I cut these out, and then I wanted to do the square on the front. So what I decided to do is instead of using the scallop contour like I always do, I decided to branch out and I pulled in the deckled rectangles. Again, I have two of those because I use them a lot. And then I started like, okay, what size am I gonna use? Am I gonna use this size? I could go up a size. You know, what am I gonna use? And so I think this is, this is the one I chose. I did this one first and I thought, oh, that's kind of small. We don't really need to see a whole lot of the stripes because they're stripes, right? We know what they are. It's not like a floral that you want to make sure you pick up the pink or whatever that you can't see on the outside or something. So I chose the larger one. The problem is I wanted to emboss it with that embossing folder. And so when I did, you really, you kind of lose the decal. I mean, you can see it. I mean, if you know, you're like, that's not a very straight edge right there. Or the, you know, it's kind of a, a wonky cut. And so with the embossed part of it, it just kind of loses its rectangle shape. And so it looks odd to me. But it's okay. This does not have to be perfect. It's just a background to make this pop up. But I still think it just kind of looks wonky because it's not straight. But that's me. And you may love it. And I'm good with it because it's outside my comfort zone and I'm okay with it. But it's just kind of a funny, like, oh, I should have just cut it when I decided to do that. But that's okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this together and make our bow. I did not make our bow. 
so what I do is I hold it kind of from the top so you can kind of get a good eye on top and bottom. And I'm just going to kind of lay it there and then I can move it up a little bit. Okay, so there's that. Let's, we're not going to put um, dimensionals on this, but we will be putting them on our flower. All right, so we're going to put a large one right in the middle here. And now what I do is I pull in our edge. So I've already got a little edge right here that I used the other part of. So I'm going to take that and just put it on the stem. You just want to have some stability so it doesn't get caught on anything. So I'm just going to put that there, making sure that's on there. And then um, I'm going to take this and put it right here. Take this, put it there. I think I will put, I don't need this one, I don't think. Yeah, I'll put a little one there. And then I want to put a half of one, which I thought I already had, but we can just use these little ones. You'll use up all your pieces, right? We're going to take this and put it down here. Have you guys seen the Santa Clauses? It's on, it's on Disney+. Plus. And it's really cute, but it's a series. It's not just a movie, which is kind of different. Oh, what did I say? It is the deckled rectangles that I used. Um, but yeah, I would have just done it in a square. Normally I use the scallop contour, but I wanted to use something different. Okay, so that's good. I'm good with those. So we'll push that aside. All right, we're going to put our dimensionals on here. And really, you could choose whichever side you want. I like the little flat side down so that the line part is up. But you could do it that way if you wanted. It just gives it kind of a different look. All right, so because I'm layering up on it, I definitely want to put some in the middle here. So let's take this off. My husband surprised me too with one of those um, one of those massager things that Costco has. It has like the four or five different attachments for my back. It was so nice. I go, yeah, but do I have somebody that's gonna massage my back? That's what I need. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our embellishment here. Where are my sticky scissors? Here. And I'm going to cut this right here dimensional in half. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on the outside. I'm going to put it right about here. Each one. And what I do is I put the straight side right here towards the middle because this is raised already. So when I put this on, I want to be able to put it like this and know it's going to be on there, you know, like a flush and not all crazy, but I'm going to push it out a little bit because I want to be able to still see green, uh, but still give the flowers some room. So we're going to leave that like that for right now. So this actually, this is going to be what goes on first. So we'll go ahead and do this part now. And then I'm going to glue, I glue this because it's going to go right on top of the um, embossing folder. All right, so you want to see some of the design on the bottom. And I'm just going to go right about there. And actually, the embossing folder kind of helps you put it straight. Okay, so 
The funny thing is you have lines behind you. You have lines in front of you. You just kind of want to make sure you get it that looks straight to you. Okay, so I think that looks fine. My sleeves keep falling down. It's getting warm in here. All right, so now what I did is we're going to take off all of our little dimensionals. So somebody was asking about the paper share. Um, it is $65 that includes your shipping. And when you go to my blog and or the links below and you pay for it, yes, I do accept credit cards. It's just paid through PayPal. So when you click on it to pay, you can add your credit card in there. We just have the protection of PayPal um, that you're paying through. So you're not paying me directly. It goes through PayPal into my account. So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, you don't have to have a PayPal account. So um, if, if you need more explanation or help or anything, just let me know. But um, yeah, you don't, you, it does, it does uh, take your credit card. And um, I forgot what your other question was. Let me see. And yeah, it's $65 and I do take credit card. There's a link below. So make sure that you not don't just add it to your cart. You've got to pay, fill out your registration because I need your address and all that good stuff too. Um, same with bingo. There's a few people you guys have paid, but you need to um, make sure you fill out the registration form because I need your numbers. Okay, so now I'm just going to add this other piece. This is the one I was talking about that would be really cute to put in here, but not on dimensionals, of course. But I kind of wanted to just like have it laying like right, like it's just blooming off. And so it's just kind of ties that in right there. So let's make our bow. I have a bow maker. So when I do little bows, I like to use this. This is actually a demonstrator um, does these. And her, I think her website is the 10 second bow maker. So if you're interested in it, I gave these to my team. Hopefully you guys all got them already and I'm not spoiling it, but that's part of your Christmas. Um, I gave them some of my favorite things and this was one of them. So I'm going to do it with one hole in the middle and there's a video on everything that they show you how to do it. But one, two, three, I'm going to go around three times and cause I like to do three bows, uh, three loops, especially with soft, nice ribbon like this. And then, Go around and then tug, 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 and then I pull down, and then you can slip it off, and there's your pretty bow. This is totally worth it. It's not very much, um, it's just absolutely one of the best tools I have for tiny bows. I can do bigger bows, but I got fat fingers. There's no way I'm doing this tiny bow. So there we go. And see if you have one already. You can put your other one attached to here and even make bigger bows with bigger ribbons. So they're really, really cool. Okay. Now I'm going to, I want to add this on here because I want to kind of hide that big old stem just sticking out there. So I'm going to do my, um, my uh, glue dots. You know, I like to do two of them just to make sure it's going to stay on there. Although one's plenty, I just like to put two. Good measure. And then of course these glossy dots are amazing. And I want a small, a medium, and a large. So I do a large right here. And then I do a small right here. And then I did a medium up here and then I did the dragonfly and look at these you guys they're so cute these are like the bees and the ladybugs but they're silver dragonfly trinkets you get 20 and so I'm just gonna and they're nice and flat they're very very flat so this is I mean they're very flat they're not like the other ones and then um, you want to take your glue dot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one in the middle and then I tuck it in wherever it sticks out because, oh poo, 
I picked it up in the wrong spot, but that's okay. We'll add another. We'll do one on the wing. This one on the wing. And then I'm going to add another in the middle because that one didn't quite get in the middle. All right, so I did three. And the tail, I'm not too worried. It's so, it's so tiny, it'll be fine. And then I'm just going to put this. Now what I did is see how these bumps are up high? So I'm going to put it on like this line right here that is raised. So you can see, so this is going to stick right on top of there. Uh, I'm going to do it on this one. So it's just kind of like it's turning into the flowers. Isn't that cute? Now the other one thing that I did do also is take your Wink Estella. Make sure you open it away from your project. Make sure it's not super gooey, like, like that it's not going to run. Because you know how sometimes it's going along just fine and all of a sudden you have a avalanche of it. I don't even squeeze it. I'm just putting it on the two spots. I chose not to add a yellow one in the middle there because I've got the odd shaped one there and I like um, that little funnel shaped one I think looks really pretty right there. So I decided, you know, to just add a little Wink Estella in the middle and then those are good. And that is the card for today. Isn't that pretty? So it's a lot easier than you think. This is a really nice card. It's got, you know, with your layers in it and your layers on the front. This is going to go flat because you want this to pop up. Add your pretty little dragonfly. Oh, I just love, I can't wait to order more. I'm not even done with these yet and I want to order more because I'm going to make a bunch of these. This is way easier than I thought. So when I was getting ready to do a project today, I was like, oh, what am I going to do? I don't know. I've done so many and I right now I'm trying to come up with my last bingo card. And uh, I am, no, not my last bingo card, My one of my other cards. And I want it to be a non-flower card. And um, thanks, Debbie. Me too. Um, she loves the dragonfly. So there is a little closer. Oops, let's see, get my logo out of the way. There we go. So a simple card, add a little texture to it. Um, the stamping is way easier than you think. Um, and like I said, I just went a little lighter with the top part, which actually ties into the um, distinctive lighter part on that the leaves. And so it, when it was dark, I did one. I don't have to, have to dig it out of my trash, but it was way too dark. Oh, I, I don't know where it's at. It wasn't too long ago, but you know, I can't even find it already. But uh, if you guys are crafters, you know what your trash can looks like. It's got too much stuff. Um, so um, just don't worry about stamping it off. But also, if that's too light, get it all off your, um, your stamp and then just kind of, you know, stamp a little bit. Don't push it in. You don't need that much ink. Oh, thank you, Sally. I appreciate it very much. Thanks, Mary. Hi, Trina. Thank you. Thanks, Diane. Thanks, Terry. You guys are so sweet. I appreciate it. Bow maker's great. It is Arlene. I love mine. So anyway, that is your card for today. Um, again, I'm going to go quickly over the other things, being that I had been asked. So the paper share, how it works is you will join me on Facebook. We'll create our cards together. Not together, sorry. You'll be chatting and visiting and watching and having a good time. And then we will play bingo. We will make cards, have a good time. I will then mail the kits to you after bingo. I want you to just relax, have fun, and watch the card making. And then um, you'll get your kits in the mail. And then you can create it at your own leisure, your own time, everything. Um, I always put a little fun gift in there for you. And I... Um, um, do th uh, four $100 prizes. So um, then you can, what, how, if you win, you let me know what your order is. Anything over a hundred, um, you just pay me the difference and then I put the order in for you and it gets shipped directly to your house. So yay. Um, and then don't, uh, January is going to be the brand new catalog. So you will be able to order from the new catalog. 
Yay! So that'll be fun. Um, and then, of course, the paper share, as I mentioned, I the deadline's the third because I will be up late the night before as soon as we're able to, sh to order, and I will get that ordered and overnighted to me so that I can get all your paper cut up and packaged and everything and then right back out to you. So um, um, that's that. If you do not have a demonstrator and you would like a new catalog, I have mailed mine out. So if you ordered from me for the last uh, six months, I already mailed one to you. So hopefully you're getting them. If you have not, let me know um, and I can check on the tracking. And if you uh, don't have a demonstrator, let me know and I can mail one to you. You can go to my blog. At the top it says um, request a catalog. Um, I think it says request and then you can choose a catalog. I'm looking, let me look, let me look. About and contact is what it is. And it says request a catalog under there. So just go um, about and request a catalog and I'll get one sent out to you. Um, let's see what else. Uh, and then of course, January bingo, I'd love to have you guys. And the January class again is the country uh, floral lane. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. And um, let's kick off January with a lot of fun stamping. And let me know what you'd like to see. I know you're starting to get the catalog, so uh, let me know. Obviously, if you'd like to join my team, I'd love to have you. So let me know. I can give you more information. You can also go to my blog at the top, and it says join my team. And you can go straight there or give me a call, message me, let me know, and I can help you with what you need. I'm flipping back and forth to my screen here. So I can look at my blog and make sure exactly the words for you. So, so I just click, click, click all the wrong screens right now. Um, all right, let's see any more questions. Beautiful cards. Oh, Sherry, you're so sweet. Yeah, a thumbs up, you guys would be amazing. Thank you so much. It does help my channel. I am not going to be here obviously next weekend. It is Christmas. Honestly, because my Christmas is over, and my kids are gone, I would. I would come on here in case you don't have um, plans that day like me because we've done a lot of our stuff ahead of time. And I, um, but we're going to be out of town. We're going uh, to Tahoe so my husband can go snowboarding. I will be crafting there, reading my book, and probably napping. You know, snowy weather, that does that to me. Um, so anyway, I will not be here next weekend. I plan to be here Wednesday. So I will see you guys then. Have a great week. Don't stress. Um, you know, it's Christmas. Take your time. It's more important to be with your loved ones than to give gifts and receive gifts and all that good stuff. If your turkey burns, it's all right. You'll remember next year and laugh about it. So um, don't stress. Just have a lot of fun. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you Wednesday. Bye.